Hello everybody, this is Sci-Fi Junk yet again on this lovely, wonderful Wednesday afternoon. And uh, I most likely will not be able to stream today, but I wanted to go ahead and make a video at the very least to try to keep things rolling on having something to you guys, you know, Monday through Friday, like I try to every week, uh, if I can. If not, well, then I, those, are the, those are the days that you don't get anything. But anyway, uh, this video, I want to talk more on lines of Wetumpka, you know, the very place that I live at. Uh, if you've actually watched any news here in Oklahoma, if you're in Oklahoma, then you'll know that the police here conveniently just thought it would be a good idea to quit if the new people that have been, you know, elected into office, um, you know, happens to actually get elected into office uh, because they were thinking that maybe they were going to get fired anyway, which is not really, it didn't, it, did, it did not end up really being true that they ended up keeping their jobs. And as a matter of fact, they decided to leave, that instead of leave, they decided to stay on top of that, um, which makes no sense because we, uh, we were under the impression that they were going to leave once the new people got in, you know, moved into the office. Um, yeah, that, that just didn't really happen, but, uh, after the elections happened, we got two, or actually we got three new commissioners, city board of commissioners here in Wetumpka, and that's when things started getting a little fishy. Um... What you guys, if you haven't kept up, the whole thing was people were getting investigated, they were getting investigated, you know, or actually people were getting investigated by FBI and CIA and NSA and all this other stuff about allegations that were made from one person to the other about whatever was said, whatever they've done, and for threats and a number of other issues. Well, now that the new officials are actually in office, um, they are conveniently deciding to ignore some laws. Now, I don't know how long they plan on ignoring the, some of the laws that they're ignoring, but come to find out that they, that, that the old people in the offices were actually ignoring the laws to begin with by accepting partial payments and a number of other things because it was not in a, because the principalities or whatever they, you know, whatever's going on with the government, local government here. Um, matter of fact, I've had first-hand experience of trying to pay my electric bill just to be told that, uh, no, you can't pay it because it's a partial payment and that's against the law. Uh, and then on top of that, they didn't have any records of the previous payment that I've actually made. Now, while trying to sort that out, um... You know, actually waiting for them to decide if they want to record the payment after me having to go to the bank to prove that I actually made a payment. You know, that actually came from my our bank account into their stuff. Uh, I started overhearing either I think it's you know one county commission or no not not county commissioner the city commissioners. Uh, you know, two of them talking back and forth, or maybe it was maybe it was the mayor and. The commissioner, but the point is that they were talking about what was actually written and you know, in some sort of paper somewhere about what was written about them in one form or another. And what I overheard is that the city manager and a number of other people that were in the that were, uh, you know, elected into the office before them. Uh, were making adjustments and everything to make it look like that there was nothing wrong financially with uh, the city of Wetumpka. And during the time of that conversation, they were actually, uh, that I think it was either commissioner or mayor or whoever it was, talking to some other person, lady in the office 
and said that uh, about a memo needing three signatures and they only had one and they knew that within the, their principalities they needed three but they were going to send it off with one anyway and due to the fact that that was going to happen they were breaking their own laws so it kind of makes me wonder right now how the city of Utomka can uh, honestly want how how they can actually want the people to trust them to you know to help you know to trust them to govern this city when they are willing to break their own laws without figuring out how to fix the problem to make it where they're within the laws. Um, in fact, we we don't even remember even getting a lovely bill for our current electric. You know, our current electric bill is you know like non-existent. It, it does not exist, and there are people here in Wetumpka or that are being told they are not even in the system. And then when they get stuck, when they get put back into the system or actually being found in one form or another, their bill is so high that it is like they were running the entire city out of their home, potentially. Now, electric here in Wetumpka for us usually goes anywhere from 100 and I think the lowest we had it was $125. At one point, we actually, that was the lowest. That's not normally the lowest, but that's at one point was the lowest. To as much as two, almost $300 for electric. And uh, last month, I was fighting to pay that bill. Now, if I understand the federal the laws at the federal level, that if anybody refuses uh, payment because in, in, in you know reality we weren't paying a partial payment we were catching up from the to pay the rest of the to the bill off and if I understand laws at the federal level if the pay, bill cannot be paid uh, with legal tender then it is considered paid in full now, granted, I might be wrong. You, you guys can go ahead and put in the comments section that you know I'm a total, complete dumbass. Excuse my language, and that I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, it, it's it's kind of true. I really don't know if that's still true or not, but that's what I've read somewhere. Uh, there's a number of other problems here in Wetumpka that kind of make me wonder about it uh, but those are the main issues the fact that they are willing to break their own laws you know the new politicians break their own laws to make things easier for them just so they could just do whatever is beyond me and uh now i have been considering being a commissioner for this housing authority, but after repeatedly seeing how the city, in one form or another, don't even follow its own laws, it kind of makes me wonder if I should even be a commissioner for the lovely housing authority, which is the lovely, you know, th this unit is one of the lovely units of the housing authority and it's just I mean it's bad enough the housing authority and HUD one is wants us out because they don't want to deal with us anymore uh, in one form or another but to have the city break their own laws is kind of just making me not I mean I still want to go ahead and try to do it and see if they'll even accept me or give me the position of a uh, board of commissioners here in the Wetumpka housing authority but it kind of makes me not want to do it all this, and at the same time because of the Potomka City Board of Commissioners don't want to follow their own laws. And that includes, you know, the mayor. The mayor is actually on the board. So it's it's kind of 
kind of, it just, just doesn't feel right that, you know, some of us that actually try to follow the laws and to follow the rules, uh, get more shafted than the people that make the laws that conveniently decide to not even follow them because it's not convenient, it's an inconvenience for them. Now, uh, if you manage to make it through this video, I do thank you. I do appreciate it. Again, it was not intended to be a 10 minute video or over 10 minutes, but somehow, see, I look at the camera, I don't look down here at the clock. Or I look at the, the preview so I can actually see if I'm actually looking in the right direction. And um, making it over 10 minutes is not my objective, it's not my priority. Uh, it just happens. Uh, most of my videos, now this one actually had a purpose and I actually tried to stay within the subject matter of the purpose, but most of them actually do end up being. Um, rambling videos toward the end and uh, so it, it, it's getting there it's not quite there yet so anyway uh, until next time don't have too much fun